junior doctors have picketed hospitals once more and protesters besieged the Department of Health at the beginning of the fourth strike this year over the new contract being imposed on trainee medics. A petition of more than 120,000 signatures backing the junior doctors in the dispute was delivered to the department on Wednesday. It was accompanied by a rally of junior doctors, other health professionals, members of the fire brigade's union. <laughs> the BMA said there were nearly 150 picket lines across the country. While the length of the dispute is testing the appetite of junior doctors for industrial action, many seem to have had their anger stalked by the publication last week of the DOH's own analysis of the new contract, which concluded that while there are features of the new contract that impact disproportionately on women, of which some we expect to be advantageous and others disadvantageous, we do not consider that this would amount to indirect discrimination as the impacts can be comfortably justified. An anesthetic and intensive care registrar, said outside Wythe and Shaw Hospital, I've been a junior doctor since 2003, and I'll be becoming a consultant in the next couple of years. It's taken me a long time because I've had children, so couldn't always work full time. That's part of why I find the new contract massively disappointing, it's really going to hit people in my situation. We're already outnumbered in my department, it's very male dominated, and the new contract is really going to put smart women off. It's terrifying, and a slap in the face for women who have worked so hard to get here. The strike has led to 5,165 non-urgent operations being rearranged.